Alrighty, welcome back YouTube, welcome back stackers. Here we are, right now we're in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. I think I'm going to Kingsburg, that's where the first stop is, and this is the Harrisburg trip, so it should be a fun day. Nice weather out, it's been humid these past couple days, I think it's kind of cooling off. It's supposed to be, I think, 82 today. Uh, yesterday it was 93, so it should be fun, enjoyable. I don't have to worry about just sweating all day and sticking my seat, so it should be fun. We're going to uh, hopefully find some treasures, and uh, join me. Let's do some treasure hunting. All right, first thrift store pretty much done. Here's like the purses and bags. I don't know anything about purses or bags. People have asked if I can show it. So here they are. I mean, I don't even know. Obviously, you know Coach Louis and all those, but there can be a hundred dollar bag here, and it was just I have no idea. Did grab a couple shirts. Some of these I've already sold, so I'm just picking them up again. It's pretty quiet in here. There's not that many people. Uh, the store is kind of deserted. During the summer months, I noticed this store has been deserted. So I might switch over and do Salvation Army first rather than this store, but that's where we're heading now. Let's see if there's anything over there. All right, in the jacket section. I don't really do much in jackets, but can always experiment. What do we have here? Ooh, Pro Player. Ooh. This might be, so this is on sale, it's eight bucks, but it might be a $40 jacket, so. We'll keep that over there. All right, before I ran to the sweatshirts, I checked out the shirts and stuff for any jerseys, and I didn't see any, but now I came over here and found this one. Uh, I think this is a high school jersey, and the reason why is it's made by Russell Athletic. It has no patching, no logos, no name. Uh, it's probably a high school jersey. So I always pass on them. Uh, if it was a college, it'd probably have a name on it somewhere, and something like this would be a good filler jersey. It might even be a game-used kind of jersey, um, but with no logoing on it, it's hard to decide what what school it's affiliated to. That's definitely not a professional team, so going to pass on that piece. But if you guys are looking for certain things, I would definitely recommend kind of just running through. Here's another. This is like a lacrosse jersey. Just run through whatever it might be at before you go to like something else uh, even if it's just a quick scan okay so this is where the toys used to be and actually reversed it on me toys are now over here so they're adding more space for glassware you guys Sure, got a lot of golf gloves. We'll take a quick look over here and see if there's anything. Look at this putter, Max Fly. So it's not a great brand. It's not a bad brand, but it's not a it's not a high end brand for golf. Yeah, this is a Golden Bear golf head club cover. I just or, or Golden yeah Golden Bear. So that's that brand. Golden Bear. I think it's Jack Nicklaus. Is that who Golden Bear is? a UCLA guy. What is this? Is this wood? This is not wood. This is uh, graphite, I think. Alright, another thrift store. Another thrift store. Thrift store number three. So this is an older, it's like a destination sweatshirt. Oh, Alright, nope. Don't let me go over there. But, uh, I sold a very similar sweatshirt to this. It was a San Diego sweatshirt, but I never even heard of Long Beach. It's not really, I guess, a very popular city. Um, something like this, even in Myrtle Beach, which is, you know, known around here at least, because that's a kind of a destination that a lot of people around here travel to for break. Um, I wouldn't pick that up. I wouldn't pick up any, like, beach sweatshirts, unless it was probably Daytona Beach. That might be the only one, the only exception that I would make. Uh, so I'm going to leave that. This store has been so picked over I said this last time I came here out of this entire section all the way down there um, and this whole row of sweatshirts from there to there um, I found two t-shirts of everything 
they're just it, it's all like I don't know like Old Navy kind of apparel a lot of uh, t-shirts that you know are for events just wasn't really anything for me you know these you go donate blood you go for a run a 5k it's pretty much what this stuff is was this probably men's warehouse men's warehouse t-shirt I don't know it is what it is uh, I have one more thrift store I'm going to and then I'll do the recap but hoping to, hoping to buy some more more items we have here Tony I guess this is Tony Hawk's apparel I don't know let's go check over at the glassware glorious uh, frames over there I didn't really see any artwork just those uh, TJ Maxx frames some seasonal stuff, some nutcrackers, I don't know, unless it's made in China, I don't know what makes a nutcracker valuable, I guess the older ones does, this one's missing a foot, we got over here some can oh, this must be a camera. Sure shot owl. This thing must be vintage. Looks vintage. Mirage. Empty box. I don't even know what you fit in here. Like, <laughs> like a Red Bull fits in there. I think's very narrow. You know, I hide a Red Bull and just put a mill. <laughs> I don't know. Weird inventions out there. There's a lot of weird stuff. All right, guy. More frames and frames and frames. Claremont School of Theology. I don't know if this is part of it. So Claremont this has a couple campuses or colleges. Claremont McKenna, you have Harvey Mudd College. There's Scripps College, maybe? All in California. I don't know if this is one of them. Uh, this is a shirt where if you bought it, you would sit on it for a while. You might sell it. I think it's a really small school. I don't know. I didn't, I'm not an expert in California colleges. So I want some oldie chalk line. It's only 50 cents, so I'm gonna grab this. I think I even have this shirt. 1995. So that's a good find. There seems to be no uh, no baseball gloves this week. Once in a while, the store will get a couple good baseball gloves in. All right, so here we are with the recap. Been a very, very long day. Uh, like always, pulled a, pulled a, a couple items to the side. Want to talk about this? I talked about this a little bit in the beginning. Pittsburgh Steelers jacket. As you guys can see, it's kind of got like a kind of an obnoxious design on the back. Uh, this is a Pro Claire jacket. Uh, usually, I think starter jackets sell a little bit better. The satin starter jackets seem to sell very, very well for me. This is kind of like a padded jacket, a, a true winter jacket. Uh, perfect, perfect for anyone in the north. Uh, very, very cool. Pittsburgh Steelers jacket. I paid eight bucks for this. I'm expecting to sell it from anywhere between like 30 to 50. If the Steelers do really well, you can probably sell it for 60 or 70. I know towards the end, especially these northern school, uh, northern teams, sell very, very well if they're doing well because uh, people would wear this, right? If Jacksonville Jaguars are doing well and they have a Jaguars jacket that's like this. People are probably not going to wear this because it's Jacksonville. It's warm there. But Pittsburgh, Patriots, Eagles, Giants, all those teams, uh, very, very good sellers, especially the heavier ones, late 90s. Uh, Yingling t-shirt, did want to talk a little bit about this. Beer advertisement sells very, very well, and this is very plentiful. At flea markets, a lot of, uh, a lot of bars 
get free advertisement stuff like this. Sometimes it has something stupid on it, like uh, you know, Joey's Bar or whatever it might be. I stay away from those completely. But if it's a T-shirt like this that has a logo, they sell pretty well. Uh, from my experience, especially something like Yingling, which has a great following. Something like Budweiser or Bud Light, kind of not because there's so much stuff out there. Yingling is kind of, I wouldn't say it's a small brand, but it's not in the same avenue of Budweiser. Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe hat. This is my first Hard Rock, it's my first Hard Rock Cafe hat. Um, very, very cool design on it. Hard Rock New York. Uh, I've sold t-shirts at one time I went to a thrift store and they had maybe 20 t-shirts they maybe had 20 t-shirts uh, for Hard Rock everything from like Hard Rock Dubai to Arizona to Las Vegas and I sold every single one of them so good seller the brand itself sells lastly look at this bad boy <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous it was only uh it's only five bucks. This was here last time I went to the store, but it was behind the shelf, behind the counter at a different side. And at the other side, it's kind of hard to like ask, hey, can I look at that? Because the cash register, the, the registers, there's probably eight or 10 of them. And this was all the way at the far side, which no one was working at. So I didn't want to like make the employee walk all the way to the other side just to figure out the price of this. Now, they also have another section, which is all primarily good stuff. All the Pyrex, all the Fire King, all the vintage uh, lunch boxes, all you know, special primitives, antiques, cast iron, all that stuff is hidden behind there, but it's its own area, so you can pretty much just ask the lady, hey look, what is that? How much is that? So she only, took, she only turned around and took it off the shelf. Um, it is a vintage Eagles cowboy hat. It actually fits me. But I look pretty stupid. Uh, <laughs> cowboy hats are kind of are kind of difficult, right? If you can pull off a cowboy hat, that is that's sweet. Uh, it, it's awesome. Like it, it's one of those things. Kind of like suspenders or snapback hats. Not everyone can do it. Not everyone can pull off a cowboy hat. I certainly can't. I look like stuff like this. Very obnoxious. That's football. Tailgaters. Uh, people who like to uh, tailgate people who like to go to the stadium and dress up and crazy outfits they love this kind of stuff eagles very very loyal fan base so i expect to sell this uh i don't know i'm going to ask for it i don't think there's any online maybe i'll ask 50 bucks only spend five dollars very very cool if you can come across something obnoxious like this especially vintage grab it very very cool piece uh but aside from that it's been a fun day Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this thrift store video. I've kind of switched between cameras because this camera actually ran out of battery on uh, probably like the third thrift store. So if the footage is a little bit different, the audio is a little bit different, I apologize. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button if you want to see more. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.